I'm Profe, and I've been teaching Spanish since 2000. I have a Teachers Pay Teacher store for Spanish teachers, and I create these videos to share new activity ideas that you can use in your Spanish classroom tomorrow morning. So if you've seen my store before, you know that I have thousands of products, and I know that it's really easy to get lost in the options. Not only am I overproductive, but I'm also overly organized as well. So if you click below, you can find free product guides to help you find the activities for the topic that you are teaching this week. You can also follow my store to get announcements about upcoming sales. Okay, let's talk about color by number. This is a really common concept, but what does it look like? When you buy one from me, you're gonna get a question bank for the topic that you purchased. So the students are gonna start by solving clues up on top, finding the solution down in the bottom, and that'll tell them what color to use for that number. Then they go back to the coloring image and color it in with that color. There are some that are set for 11 colors, so red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, brown, black, white, and gray. And then the more advanced ones also include light blue and lime green in case you have those available. So here's what you get. You're going to get instructions for you as a teacher, a question bank for the topic, both PDF and editable, and then 14 different coloring pages that you can choose from. Again, you get choice based on the number of colors that your students know and have. Um, there are some images that are better for younger students or for older students. And if this is something you decide you like to do a lot, there are also some abstract images where you can switch the colors if your students memorize the code. Here's what I hope you're gonna love about these activities. It keeps your students engaged, and that can be both in class or you can post it online and have students use a program like Notability to color it in digitally. It's art therapy. This is a non-threatening, familiar activity. It gives a creative way to practice matching skills. You can leave it as a sub plan. You can add it to a station activity. And as I record this is 2021, we're coming out of distance learning. I see this as being really important group conversation time that our students who have been at distance have disconnected and you can give them an activity that's non-threatening. They're not making eye contact, but they can work together. They can even choose different images to color and just have some good connection and conversation while they work. Whenever you buy Spanish activities from my store, you will get detailed instructions for you and for your students so that you can be ready to roll tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. I hope you feel like you have one more tool for your teacher's toolbox. If you have any questions, my email is down below.